Today, I have something a little special for you. Now, I hope everything that we get is a little bit special, but this one's a little bit out of the ordinary. We usually concentrate on houses high up on hills, surrounded by vineyards in fairly isolated places, but that's not everybody's cup of tea. We get asked a lot for houses in towns. Now, speaking of tea, I'm in one of my favorite bars because I live about 20 minutes from here where the house is located. And as some of you already know, I love cars and I love messing with cars. And this is a great themed bar with motorcycles and racing and it's attached to a motor spare shop. So you can come in here for lunch, you can have a coffee, you can listen to the bikes go by and you can pick up a set of brakes for your Fiat Cinquecento on the way out. Perfect. Now the town has around 10,000 inhabitants and it's 20 minutes from Turin, 25 minutes from Asti and 30 minutes from Alba and the Barola wine area. Within 10 minutes, there's an 18 hole golf course. And beside that, there's a tennis complex. So if tennis is your thing, Serena, if you're listening, this might be perfect for you. A bit more than an hour away are the ski resorts of the Alps and, and the coast, an hour, hour and a half to get to the coast. But what about the house, I hear you say? It was built by a wealthy family from Torino in the mid to late 70s. And it's built to a very high standard and it's remained in the same family for all that time. And it's ready for some cosmetic upgrades, but it's perfect for the money. It has five plus bedrooms, eight bathrooms, a large underground garage. It has a big party room with a bar and a kitchen, it has a billiards room and get this, it has an indoor pool. And it's right in the center of town. So there are houses around it, but there's a good level of privacy and it's a calm area but everything is on your doorstep. Now here's some photos and videos of the house just to keep you interested and then I'll explain a little bit about the history of the town. Now the town is called Poirino and it dates back to about the 10th century and it used to be under the rule of Asti but then there were wars and more wars and border changes and it came under the control of Torino and it's still under the political control of the city of Torino. And it's had a really busy history. In the 17th century it was really hard hit by the plague and on the 29th of April 1805 at the height of his glory Napoleon visited the town. A couple of days before that, the Pope was here for a coffee and an ice cream. Poirino was a wealthy town and it made its money from uh, specializing in wedding items, particularly for the bride. There's a market every Saturday and here you can buy foods and clothes and shoes and all kinds of things. And this market has been going for 650 years. Italia, buono più buono. Now the house is in walking distance of nice bars, restaurants, pizzerias and stores. You have all you need on your doorstep, walking distance from the house. So let's go take a look at the house and I'm certain that you're going to be impressed. And stay right to the end because then I'm going to tell you the price and I think that you'll be amazed. You, I promise you won't be disappointed. The owners need to sell quickly, so it's up to you. So here we have an aerial view of the property and you can see it's in a town, it has houses to the rear, but it really does have a good level of privacy to the front of the house and this beautiful garden around it. And here we enter the complex of the house and we can see here there's this high wall that separates the house from the road and it's not a busy road. Just a few cars passing through to access the houses. It's not a through road. And then we enter the garden area and they have a gardener care for the garden and it's in perfect condition really manicured uh, a beautiful place and here you have a good level of privacy but all the convenience of being in a town the house is in excellent condition you can probably already see it needs painting here's the front of the property very nicely designed house and it has a big sky above it, not always blue, but most of the time. 
And then as we walk through the front of the house, you can see again, you can see where it needs painting. Just the security bars there I'd remove. This is an old idea. Um, and personally, I don't like it. Um, I'm, on my house, I remove them immediately. It's not a big crime area. There's not problems with crime. And here we have this white building and it's just a storeroom and it has solar panels on the roof. And again, you can see the garden. It keeps very good privacy in the house, but also a very nice place to be. And the front of the house again. Just notice those vents in the floor there as well, because this is an air gap that separates the house from the land. So it's like a double wall with a, with a space in between. And we come to the rear of the house, and you can see it has these buildings to the rear. We'll just go through quickly. But there's, there's, no, there's no access to them. Uh, there's a good level of privacy on the other part of the house, just not to the rear. But you wouldn't use that anyway. There's no space there anyway. And here we have the side of the house. and the spiral staircase that leads down to the garage. And notice again in the floor there, those glass uh, tiles, this air gap, but allow air to the, the basement, which we'll see later as well. And there you can see the entrance for the cars. You notice there that the maintenance has been cupped up well. You can see that the wall there has been repaired in recent times. So it's all, all very well maintained. The spiral staircase there, just beyond my car, and the entranceway to the garage. And the garage easily fits four cars. Now we enter the house, and we have this beautiful lounge, and it's very well lit. Um, it has these beautiful tiles and wood, wood flooring as well. We can see here solid wood floors in some areas. And again, it all needs some updating, repainting, new lights. None of the furniture is staying with the house. But everything is beautifully done. You can see it was done with real taste and can be made to look magnificent again, I think. There's the entranceway there opposite us now. Now this beautiful lounge area. And the inner courtyard, we'll come to that in a moment, where that tree is, there is an inner courtyard. You may have noticed it from the aerial shots. To the left here, the door in front of us, is a WC, a cloakroom by the jukebox there. And here's this inner courtyard. It floods light through here, it's very, very nice. To the left, the first room is a study, but obviously could be used as a bedroom, just there isn't a bathroom attached to this. If you have to work from home, perfect place to work. Along the corridor again, we come to the next room, which is another big room. Again, flooded with light. There's a beautiful, beautiful window and door that leads to the side of the house. And then we come into this next door, and this has three rooms inside. We have a bedroom to the left. In fact, on the plans, it's registered as an ironing room, but it obviously can be used as a bedroom. It's a good size. And then in the middle is a bathroom. It's all in very nice condition, a bit dated, but it's all in nice condition. And then to the right of this is another bedroom. I forgot to open the shutter when I did the film in here. Uh, so it, you can't really see the effect of the light, but it is a light room just like the others. And then along the top end of the corridor, the north end to another doorway. And this takes us into this three room complex as well. And we have this uh, beautiful bathroom with the, with the solid wood ceilings and uh, solid wood floors. It has a bathtub. And this is next to the master bedroom. And notice the air conditioning units. Most of the rooms have air conditioning. And then next to this is a walk-in closet. It has this big wardrobe, but this could be turned into something very nice. And then along the corridor is another bathroom with shower, toilet bidet, hand basin. The tiles are looking a bit old for color, all in very good condition, but probably you'd want to update that. 
And then we come along the corridor. In front of us is the kitchen. And to the left of this is a storeroom. And then next to this is the laundry. A really nice big room, again very well lit. It has the heating system there, which is uh, wood pellets. So if you want to dry clothes in here in the winter, it's perfect. And then opposite here is the kitchen. And we've asked the owners if they would leave the kitchen because Italians would generally, when they sell the house, they take the kitchen. Nice to have a kitchen when you first move in. So even if you don't particularly like it, you can change it later, but you have something for the days when you first move in. And here's the same kitchen, but coming from the entrance to the front of the house. And again, there's air conditioning in here. And this comes onto the storeroom and the laundry. Now, what I want to show you this picture for again is to show you the internal courtyard. And there it is marked there with the arrow. And this is it. It's a beautiful little space. This tree is just gorgeous. And you can see it, it needs some help. These tiles aren't very nice and they're sagging a bit, but it could be made into a beautiful little garden. It's a really nice space. Now we come back into the entranceway because I want to show you what's up these stairs. Personally, I think this is something really special. Firstly, the stairs are beautiful with these raw iron and uh, solid wood steps and it's very, very light. There are windows all around. And then we have this beautiful, typical of the 1970s, this wood paneled ceilings, which I think are fantastic. It reminds me of something out of a, you know, one of the original Sean Connery, James Bond movies. Something really beautiful and probably was very expensive back in the day. So we have this room that could be used as a bedroom or as a study, whatever you wish, but it's a beautiful room. Again, it has air conditioning, it has good light. And then we have here to the side, a very nice bathroom. Again, a bit dated, but in very, very good condition. And it has a bathtub, it's a little bit too low to put a shower, but you have toilet bidet and basin and this window light. Now, let's go out onto this little terrace here, and we can see that it's just there where the arrow is marked, above the internal courtyard. And across here is a very quirky room. I'm not sure what they used it for. There's no balustrade here, so maybe if you have young children and you want them to use this, you'd, you'd put something across there to make it secure. So here we have this interesting room. It's low, but could be used as a storeroom. Again, it has a window light, so all the rooms are flooded with light. And there's even a WC here. And here you can see the room. And then back out on this uh, terrace again. Notice the bell tower there. This is in the center of town, so it shows it's really easy distance. Less than five minutes to walk from the house into the center of town. Now we're back on the ground floor and we're going to go underground now to the sub level, the basement. There are two stairways down to this. Here's the first one, this big open staircase. All very nice, again, all in excellent condition. And to our left there is this doorway, the entrance to the garage, and it's a nice big garage easily four cars, probably five. So if you've got a Ferrari collection, your Porsche collection, you want to bring it over, perfect, just leave me the keys. It's a nice big space. You can see how well it's constructed. It's in excellent condition. And then I want to show you this room, which is just to the right of that last shot because this shows how the house is not touching the earth. You have this wall on the left, which is to the earth, and then this internal wall of the house. Now here is the indoor swimming pool. And I must admit, it doesn't look very glamorous at the moment. 
it needs some updating but under this wooden floor this cover is a swimming pool here's the dimensions of the pool but this could be made into something really fantastic It has these very dated bathrooms. I don't know, but if you're a child of the 60s like me, we have to ask what drugs our parents were on because why they chose colors like this, I do not know. Because uh, my parents were the same, all the houses were tiled in these very dark brown colors. And then it leads on to what's called in Italian a taverna. And it's an underground eating place. And it's a beautiful place to be in the summer. When On the hot days, on the hot weeks during summer, this is a great place to be. And this is a real entertainment area. You even have a kitchen here. And everything's in beautiful condition. Again, a bit dated. I would do something about that grey pipe, maybe box it in, paint it at least. But apart from this, it's excellent with marble work surfaces. And you have a cooker here, a sink. Again, lights could do with updating, but everything is here and in excellent condition. And it's all very dry as well. You've got no problems with damp here because the house has been built properly. This nice seating area for your guests. And then just around here is a grill. You can even grill your foods on here. And then the next room on is a billiards room. I'd call it a pool table, but uh, the pool table can be left with the property negotiated in the price or make them an offer. I'd imagine it's more hassle to take, it's quite heavy, but a beautiful room, perfect for your guests. And then we have the cellar, the wine storage area. And this is underground, so it always stays within a few degrees, the same temperature, winter or summer. So perfect for wines or for storing your, your foods, your delicate foods. And then we come to the second staircase, but just beyond this is another big storeroom. And the doorway there leads to this air gap I was talking about that's between the earth and the house. Here we see the boiler for the taverna and a big storage space and then we come up the second staircase to the ground floor and that's the house okay so what did you think i think it's a great house if you're going to work in torino or if you're retiring and you want the italian lifestyle without all the travel and the hassle of driving long distances to the nearest town this is just perfect now I promised you at the start of the video that I'd tell you the price at the end, so here it is, 465,000 euros for this house. And the owners are motivated to sell, so it's a great opportunity. Don't hesitate to get in touch if you need more information. There's a link to my website in the description below which has photographs and details of the property, and I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'm going to be making a lot more videos, so by all means click like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching, see you in the next one.